Plenty of books are written on beekeeping. If every one of them was to advance the field just half a step forward, the effect would have been comparable to the triumph of electronics, and nowadays it would be as hard to find a person without a beehive as it is to come across someone without a smartphone. And yet most of the authors do want to believe that his or her books carry a touch of innovation. As to our own book series entitled The World Inside and Around a Beehive, we not only say they deliver plenty of innovative solutions, but actually show them in action on our beer. While the complete three book series is scheduled for publication by the end of 2016, its introductory concise edition comes out of print earlier this year and we are already accepting advance orders by email. In the growing collection of episodes on this channel, we offer our vision on the progress in beekeeping discussed in more details in our books. This episode is about royal jelly. The inhabitants of a beehive can be grouped into three categories. The most numerous one is worker bees. Tens of thousands of them inhabit a bee colony. The next group includes drones. These may be counted in hundreds. Finally, there is a queen bee, always one per hive except for short periods when the colony is swarming. Worker bees and drones hatch from two different types of eggs that a queen bee is able to produce. But where does a queen bee come from? Queens are raised by worker bees from the same eggs of which workers themselves are born. To reveal the triggering factor that makes an egg develop differently, consider a simple experiment. Using a solid divider, such as a piece of plywood, isolate a small section of the hive along with the queen from the rest. As soon as the colony realizes it became queenless, the bees find the right egg or young larva and start to raise a new queen. Regular bees or drone brood combs are too small for that, so bees build a special queen cell that looks like an acorn around the egg. They actively fill it with food. In three days, eggs transform into larva. Two weeks later, a miracle happens. The bee comes out not as a worker, but as a queen. She is noticeably longer than other bees, but the main difference is that she is capable of laying eggs. Once fertilized, the new queen bee becomes very much like royalty in the colony, being constantly surrounded by others' care and attention. But the most impressive fact is that this transformation extends her lifespan from weeks and months to years. Isn't that intriguing? Despite its simplicity, the experiment clearly identifies food as the driving force of the transformation of a worker bee into a queen bee. During the whole larva stage, bees supply her with a nutritious substance called royal jelly in abundance whereas all the regular brood receive their share for the first three days only and are switched then to a coarser feeding. Extra rich catering also results in a much shorter incubation period. Young queens emerge from their cells on the 16th day. For comparison, the development of a worker bee brood takes three weeks and 24 days for a drone. No wonder royal jelly keeps attracting attention as a food supplement with potentially miraculous powers. One concern is that it appears expensive. Even more discouraging is that it's prone to spoiling. If not refrigerated promptly, royal jelly starts to lose its nutrition qualities within hours. Pondering where and how to buy this extraordinary product, a customer can only wonder how thoroughly all the collection, packaging and storing procedures were followed and how much of the original value is left in the end, especially if you see this product unrefrigerated on store shelves. In fact, supplying yourself with the best quality fresh royal jelly is well within reach. It just takes a pair of beehives. For all the benefits of consuming royal jelly, small-scale beekeeping may look attractive even to those who do not value honey much. To obtain royal jelly, you won't have to milk bees or engage yourself in queen rearing. Simply guide your colonies to develop in a particular way and you will have servings of queen cell cups full of snow white royal jelly more or less regularly. Get this marvelous product 
as fresh as it can be, enjoy and live long. One of the chapters in the book details our simplified technique and original handmade tools to produce and harvest royal jelly in quantities sufficient for consumption all summer long.